All right, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, after uh, a really, 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 really strong effort, I got the rear quarter in, tacked into place. Uh, I'm up to this point now. When I I have to remove this clamp, and I'm just going to take my grinder blade, and I'm going to scribe the panel and the existing steel, and then fit it in butt weld this part of it because actually. The existing steel wasn't too bad here. And as you can see, I mean, there's a little bit of wave, but right here there's a big dip. That will be filled uh, with with mud, but essentially I actually, I cut, this seam is actually, it's it's not a butt weld, it's actually a lap joint. What I did was I flanged the existing steel. Uh, you cut it a half inch bigger than this panel, and then I have a flanging tool, which actually makes a step so that this panel rides into. I did that. I mean, it's all it's all in pretty good. It's all tacked for now. I just gotta go in now. I gotta do. Remember when I was talking about earlier about um, tacking the panel in? This is what I meant. I'm I'm not laying huge beads in and 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 filling it up. See, it's all in place now. It's all there's gonna be some dolly work to get some lows and highs off, but pretty much it's tacked and it's laying flat. Um, now the next step is I gotta fit. The edge here, the uh, the door actually gap's not bad. I mean, it's gonna sit like that. There's gonna be some dolly work here. I mean, it's a little rounded here, but I can I can get that edge and tap from the outside and inside and bring it out more. But it's you know it's not bad. I mean, see the line here, this body line, nice with the door, flush with the rocker panel. Um, I actually, I'm going to stitch this one in too. So you can see it, I cut it. The only way to fit it was I had to cut the bottom of this rock uh, drop-off panel, this quarter panel, to get this thing to work. To, to have any semblance at all of, uh, of it fitting. I mean, it fits nice now. This is what I mean about butt, butt welding. I'm going to actually make that one solid piece. So this will, uh, this panel right here, be a nice smooth transition from the rocker panel to the quarter. I don't know if you can see it, but with some light in there, you can see better. See all the, this is all going to be welded across. It's going to look like one solid piece. Um, this door skin here, see how it goes down? It drops down to a point. I might have to do some cutting and welding afterwards, but it's fitting nice all the way up. The body line's pretty consistent. Now I can adjust that through the door. I mean, it sat pretty much on the existing door jam. I mean there's not too much there's not too much I can do about that. I mean it's mandated by that. Um, I let it in. This is what I'm see what this is here. I actually cut this both pieces and let this in and then from here across was flanged. Uh, it's all in tack weld all the way down. That's also going to be stitched and all those welds are going to be ground smooth and uh, metal to metal and it'll clean it right up you won't even notice it you won't even know there's a skin here if I do if it if the body works on correctly but uh I mean it was a pain pain in the ass to get this to fit I mean you see the line there it's nice all the way up it's a little rounded here on this panel but that's the way it came I'll do some hammer and I'll try to get this edge a little further out you hit it here and then you hit it this way It'll actually flatten the panel out, but that's really, that's not too bad. I can live with that. I can really live with that, believe me. And uh, this thing was a sucker to get in. Now when this is all tacked in below, I have to actually take the wheel well, and I gotta, I gotta um, dolly them together, and then same thing, put tack wells all the way in. So these, these, this becomes one piece. I mean, it's pretty solid now, but it's gonna become really solid, and that's, uh, that's how that's gonna be. Uh, I think I'm done for today. Let this stuff cool down. I mean, it's it's fairly cool day, and the metal pretty much it didn't. You know, I didn't tack. I didn't uh, leave the weld in one spot too long. I would tack here, go a little further up, tack, and just, now I'm going to stop filling in all this. I'm going to stitch this together here to here. Leave it alone. Come over to this side. Go from this weld, maybe to that weld. Leave it alone. Come to the middle this weld to that weld. Leave it alone. Go back. Keep going alternating back and forth so you don't generate too much heat on the panel. But, uh, that's it for today, man. Next time you see me, 
I'll probably have this back panel all pieced in and welded. And uh, we'll save it for another day, you know. We'll live to fight another day. All right. Peace.